Finally, we arrived at the reflection cube map. And I'll show you the way how I set it up because there are two ways. And um, this way I set it up, you can animate uh, this uh, sphere. So you see the sphere here, the metallic glossy one, and uh, you can see the um, environment in the sphere, on the interior. I can click on the sphere and then I can move the sphere. And I still see uh, the re reflections like that. Let me see if I can get a bit closer. Uh, yeah, you see that works pretty well. So that's that's why I like to set it up this way. i show you how I did it. So I'm going in Matera preview. And then you see the reflection cube map over here. If you go to the properties panel, and then uh, you go over to the data properties, object data properties. Uh, you see a few settings. But, uh, yeah, you can uh, size it to, to the size of backdrop like that. And then um, there's a fall off, but I don't use that. Intensity should be one. And then you see clipping start, clipping end. You want to put the, the clipping start as close, as close as possible, because if you put it like that, you won't see those objects that are uh, between those points and uh, this other one. And then uh, the end you want to include. So you want to include uh, the walls over here, or sorry, the walls in this case are th this one. So that's that. But there is another way that gives a little bit more reliable reflections. So let's delete this cube map. Uh, hold on. I delete this one. So you've seen that we can animate the, that uh, sphere. But there is another way. I delete first the baking. Delete lighting cache. Uh, we go over here. So now that we delete the lighting cache, we don't see the, the whole environment. So if I put it on texture, we don't see it. We don't see those. We only see the lights and that's, that's it. So I press Shift A, light probe. Reflection cube map. Oh, wait, I have a better idea. So I select this uh, sphere, uh, Shift S, cursor to select it. So and then the cursor is over there, and then Shift A, reflection cube map, and then I can scale it like that. Then uh, I go to the properties panel, I click on here, I click on clipping, so I see those uh, things, the clipping points. And then I want to adjust that clipping start. Let me see. On that over here. And if I go to the material preview, I uh, see that's okay. It could be smaller like that, I guess. Let's try that out. So we are over here. Now we see the environment. Uh, no, not now. Let's bake. Now we see if. You do that well, you see very accurate uh, reflection. And that's that. You might want to play around with those uh, settings over here. Uh, but there is a thing. We cannot animate this. Uh, Even if we um, get the probe and the sphere at the same time, and the strange things happen. So that's uh, why I don't want to use it like that unless I uh, make a still. So I want to render and I use glossy metals like that. So, and then um, that's that reflection probe. And in the next video, I want to talk about. Reference in Albedo as a very important one. Right, so um, see you in the next video.